This week, we have been learning how to write persuasively and what it means to use our writing to convince others to make a change. That's what we've been focusing on. Yesterday, we started talking about writing letters to the principal in which we would ask him to think about some sort of change we think would have a substantial and positive effect on the school. Yesterday, during our exit ticket, I had you write down three brainstormed ideas. And today, we're going to use those brainstorming ideas to continue our pre-writing process. In order to pre-write today, we're going to use what we call web graphic organizer that we, we started using way back in September, but we haven't used it in a very long time. That's why today for our warm-up, I asked you to write down your definition of in your own words of what a web graphic organizer is and to draw one. Would anyone like to read what they wrote on their warm-up this morning? Jake. A web graphic organizer is when we put our main idea in the center and then we draw connecting lines to ideas that support it. Like all the reasons that support our main idea will surround it and then we see it all together on one page. It looks like a flow chart. Right, flow chart. It is a, right in the name, it's a graphic organizer. So I think that instead of just using words, I would also like someone to come to the board and draw a picture, like I had you do on the warm-up this morning, who has a volunteer. Mark? Now Jake mentioned we surround it by our supporting reasons, so you can just write SR in the boxes. While Mark was up here, I'd like to ask, we say main idea in the center box, what is our main idea? What are we asserting with our main idea? Riley. Our claim. Our claim. Mark, while you're up there, would you mind writing claim next to main idea? Thank you. Now, using our FISTA 5 check for understanding, I would like you to tell me on the count of three, how well you understand this. Remember, a five means you understand it well enough to explain to a buddy. A, a one means that you have no idea what this is, we've never used it before, and varying numbers in between or correspond to those levels. So one, two, three. We have all fives, but again, just before we move on, what, does anyone have any lingering questions? Jordan. Is there a limit of how many reasons we can write around the are you talking about the support, supporting reasons? Yes. Would anyone like to help Jordan out? Allie? No. We can write as many reasons we think of because it's brainstorming. We decide later what ideas we want to keep. Right. So you're saying that we can add more supporting reasons, which is exactly correct. Brainstorming all has to do with getting all your ideas out there and then determining which is best for your letter later. I notice other hands, are there different questions, or is that it? No, it's the same. Okay, thank you. Now we notice that this was the claim, and today, using ideas from the exit tickets yesterday, I would like to practice as a group filling in one of these graphic organizers so that we can find supporting reasons and evidence for a claim. A great one was written yesterday, they were all great, but this was one I would like to pick up. After school, Tutoring with teachers. Right now, the school does have a lot of programs that support students working with students, but someone had the idea of having a teacher stay to work with their subject area. So this is our claim. What do we have to do to it? What will these supporting reasons do for us? It will defend, defend it. That is what we learned beginning of the year about our writing, we always have to defend our claim. Jake, can you tell me what this first D stands for? Decide on your idea. Perfect. Allie, what about the second, the first E? Examine reasons that support your idea. Mark, what about the F? Form list of best reasons. Right, what about the second thing? Expose ideas clearly. Jordan, the end. No each idea or the no each supporting reason. 
And Jake, the last P. Drive home ideas safely or strongly. Yes. What do we have to do with our planes? Always. Defend, defend, defend. defend. What do we do? Defend, defend, defend. defend.